Welcome back to a new exercise in Autodesk Inventor. In this exercise, we will create a simple sheet metal design. And here we have this drawing and we will follow this drawing step by step in order to create our model. As we see here, we have the band ID. We have seven bands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here we have band direction, band angle, band radius and K factor. And here we have unspecified corner dimension r6 radius 6 thickness 4 millimeter material steel alloy and all dimensions are in millimeter so in order not to make a confusion so let's start to create this part first as we see we have from this line to this line we have 125 millimeter and from this line to this line 125 millimeter and here 65 35 Millimeter. So let's create a new project. Select sketch, top plane, draw a line, let's give a dimension of 125. Select this line and convert to construction line. Select line and create a sketch on this direction. Now select this line and give a dimension of 25 millimeter. 65 and here we have from this line to this line we have 90 millimeter so let's give a dimension of 45 and this one 62.5 Now let's mirror this sketch on this direction. So select mirror, select this line. Select this line, apply. So now we will have 125 on this direction. So now our sketch is fully defined. Now finish sketch. Select sheet metal. Select this profile. OK. For the thickness, select this command and uncheck this box. Give a dimension of 4 millimeter. OK. Material, steel alloy. Select this one. Now we will create this flange. So let's uh, select flange command and we will give a dimension of from this line to this line we have 125 millimeter. And from this line to this line we have 56 millimeter. And here we have 4 millimeter. So we will have from this line to this line we will have 60 millimeter because we have four millimeter thickness of this material. So let's select flange command and select this edge. And now select this option and select, give a dimension of 125 millimeter width. And the distance we will have 60 millimeter. Um, band material will be outside if you see here we have from this line to this line 25 millimeter and from this line to this line we have 125 millimeter so here this gap here we have four millimeter so the band material will be outside select this option 
and again band the relief width we have two millimeter as we see here from this line to this line we have two millimeter so let's give a two millimeter on this one now select ok again select flange command and select this edge and this edge and the distance we will have 25 millimeter pen material inside perfect again select this edge and this edge and now bend material will be outside the distance 30 millimeter select ok as we see here we have from this line to this line 25 millimeter and here we have 30 millimeter from this line to this line so now select flange command select this edge now we will create this flange so the distance from this line to this line we have 65 millimeter and the distance from this line to this line we have 30 millimeter and radius 15 millimeter so let's give a dimension of 65 millimeter band material inside okay now select this face and create new sketch draw a line now let's give a dimension from this line to this line 100 30 millimeter now select fill it give a dimension of 15 millimeter select this line and this line this line and this line perfect now select uh, finish sketch and select face and select this profile and here select join and select ok perfect now select corner round give a dimension of 15 millimeter okay again select this face and create new sketch now select slot find center point of this radius this one now let's give a dimension 45 millimeter from this from the center to the center and we have five millimeter radius Forty five millimeter radius five. Now finish the sketch. Select cat command, select this profile, and the distance will be according to the thickness. So let's select thickness. So select OK. Perfect. Now select mirror command select this cutout and select this face and select this flange corner round and select the plane select uh, x y plane select ok perfect Now we will create uh, 
this radius here so here we have unspecified coronary dimension r6 so we will give uh, radius 6 millimeter all this corner so select corner round 6 millimeter select this corner Now here we have this radius here, 3 millimeter. you see here, we have radius 3 times 2, we have 2 corner, 1, 2, so select corner round and give a dimension of 3 millimeter, select this corner and this corner, apply. Now we will create a cutout here. So select this face and create new sketch. Draw a rectangle. So here we have the distance from this line to this line. We have uh, 30 millimeter and 75 millimeter on this direction. So select give a dimension of 30 millimeter 75 millimeter select vertical constraint select midpoint and select this point center point now finish sketch select cut and select this profile okay again select corner round select this corner this corner give a dimension of six millimeter okay now it's time to create hole so select hole command and now we have uh, from this line to the center of this hole 6 mm and the same 6 mm on this direction and here we have from this line to the center of this hole 10 mm and from this line to the center of this hole 10 mm so select this face and select this edge and now the dips will be according to the thickness so just we can leave it uh, as, as it is so select ok select again this face and select this edge ok and here select this face and select this edge 10 millimeter and from this 10 millimeter perfect the same here select this face and select this outer edge now for the third one here we have 15 millimeter from outer line to the center and 28 millimeter from this line to this line 
So let's select this face. Give a dimension 50 millimeter and 28 millimeter. Okay. And the same here. Perfect. Now for the color, just we can select from here. For now, I am going to select uh, this one. Now our model is finished and uh, I hope you like this video and for more video and more project in Inventor please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.